Well, well, well. Looks like the Democrats lost. Awesome. Uh, I knew Trump would win. I've been saying it all along. Uh, he pretty much swept all the uh, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, North Carolina, uh, Arizona, possibly Nevada. So anyway, he did a good sweep. Uh, the American people have spoken. We were tired of high prices, tired of high gas prices. Uh, it was killing us. Uh, tired of the wars overseas. The world's about to go into World War III. Uh, it's just awesome that he won. The people have spoken. The garbage has spoken. The deplorables have spoken. The fascists, the Hitler, the Nazis, everything they've called us, and you know what? We won. Because America wants to, we took America back. And you got all the whiny ass Democrats out there, all the, the fake news, MSDNC, CNN, uh, they're probably crying now. Because uh, in 2016, if you remember, they were crying. Oh, boo hoo. Uh, they're still going to try to stop Trump, obviously. They never have stopped, not stopping Trump. So, anyway, uh, it, we took America back. And the Dems, Harris didn't even, she was like Hillary. Hillary didn't come out and concede to her people. She just said, well, fuck them. And Harris did the exact same thing. She sent some other guy out there. Well, she'll come out tomorrow and say something. She's not going to come out tomorrow and say anything. She lost. So tampon Tim can go back to his state and put more tampons. He could fill the tampons in the boys' rooms. Uh, Harris, I don't know. She's, who cares? But anyway, it's just awesome that Trump won. And... Uh, Anyway, it's just awesome. So America will become great again. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Iran, they're shitting themselves. China's shitting themselves. Russia's shitting themselves because they know what's coming. Mexico, yeah, the, the southern border is going to be shut down and secured, and the wall is going to get finished. And all these illegals, 400 and some thousand of them, see ya. Because Trump's going to collect them. Well, not Trump. But he's going to get them out of this country. And they should be out of this country. The burden on America is going to end. But anyway, prosperity is coming. And so I just congratulate uh, President Trump, number 47. And it's a good thing. And like I said, I knew he would win. He won the popular vote. He, he overwhelmingly took uh, uh, the uh, electoral vote. So that's a good thing for America. Um... I know a lot of you are crying and getting your panties, pissing yourselves, or shitting yourselves, but you'll get over it, uh, especially the fake news. That's all they're going to do is bash Trump for the next four years. <laughs> but anyway, it's awesome that he won. This guy should have had a Trump shirt on. But anyway, it's awesome that he won. Uh, you know, the veterans, uh, veterans affairs, uh, they'll start firing people again because Trump's going to enforce those rules. He's going to enforce everything. So, yeah. Hey, you like my shirt? Yeah, he's back. People have spoken. Anyway, it, it's really rather amusing that uh, the fake news, fake media, how, well, one thing, Harris pulled the same thing Clinton did when she lost. She didn't come out to talk to her, the people at her dinner, rally, whatever it was. And if you remember, when Hillary lost, she didn't come out and address the people. Those people were there for them. And Harris did the exact same thing last night. She had some guy come out and say, well, she'll say something tomorrow. Those people that backed her were waiting for her to come out and say, yeah, you know, we blew it. And she refused to. So that tells you right there, neither one of them were actually for the people. Because out of respect, which is something that doesn't exist almost, but out of respect, she should have came out and said, yeah, looks like Trump's going to win. I'm not going to concede right now. I'll wait until tomorrow. So anyway, now the fake news, they're all making excuses as to why she didn't win instead of saying nobody liked her. She ran a terrible campaign. 
She wouldn't answer questions. It was always, well, when I was a little girl, right. So first one, well, people didn't elect her because she's a black woman. She's, her mom was Indian and her dad was from Jamaica. Bottom line, that has nothing to do with her being black. She's not black. She's like 50-50. So they use that as an excuse. Then the other excuse, well, the reason Latinos, Latino men went for, went for Trump is because they're misogynist. The reason black men voted for Trump is they're misogynist. Really? Why don't you just say she ran a shitty campaign and nobody liked her? Uh, I'm trying to think of, I may have to come back to this. Uh, so those are some excuses. Uh, they didn't vote for her because she was a woman. That's why she lost also, because she was a woman. That had nothing to do with it. And I noticed today, uh, going to Birch Run, there was a, a guy there, a big hair supporter. Hair signs all over the yard, big, massive, huge signs. He took them down. And I'll bet you anything, when he went out there to take those signs down, he was probably pissed. Ah, I can't believe she lost us! ripping them out of the fucking ground and shit. And there were very few hair signs out here. And I just found that rather amusing that they already took them down and Trump signs are still up. I still have my Trump signs up. I still have my Trump flag up. So anyway, it's just funny how the fake news is making excuses as to why she lost. Why don't they just tell the truth? She lost because of the economy, because of the illegals that are pouring into this country, because of their foreign affairs. Just tell the truth why she lost. And the Latinos down in Texas, there was an area of Latino towns down there that had been Democrat forever. They turned red. They turned to Trump. The reason they did that is simple. They are getting flooded with all these illegals pouring in and destroying their towns, stealing their, not stealing, but taking their jobs. Maybe that had something to do with it. The fact that the Jews and Arabs, oh, well, you know, they make excuses for that. Well, they know the way that you've been treating Israel. So there's no excuse for that. That's why, that's another reason you lost. So anyway, I'll probably add to this. Another reason uh, she lost, she said that pretty much the same assholes on the fake news calling people like me, the people that voted for Trump, calling us garbage. That wasn't smart. Say, and then that uh, Mark Cuban dumbass saying, uh, well, you know, he used to own a basketball team, and he sold it. And pretty much everybody came out and said that he was just an asshole. The work environment was horrible because he was such a dick. That's not what this is. But anyway, him coming out and saying, basically, that women are dumb, that probably didn't help because Trump surrounds himself with a lot of intelligent, strong women. Look at his history of hiring strong women in his corporation when it was unheard of. He was putting women in executive positions. So maybe that was another reason. Uh, saying that he's Hitler. That his followers are fascists. That his followers, the men, hate women. That the women aren't intelligent. So insulting the majority of the population of the United States really was not a very smart thing. <laughs> well, there you go, intelligence, lack of. That's what the Dems are. I'm not saying all of them. Uh, Senator Carl Levin was a Democrat. I knew him, my mom knew him, my grandma. He helped all of us out. He was a really good guy. So there were dirt good Democrats. They forced Kennedy out. And... Uh, Kennedy is going to be really good. He said, you know, everybody's like, oh, he's going to take away all your vaccines. The vaccines that you get that keep you from getting a disease, those are the vaccines he's going to leave in place. Uh, with all these illegals coming in the country, look at all the, the uh, 
uh, tuber uh, TB, tuberculosis, uh, all kinds of other diseases, chickenpox and all that stuff, we had it pretty much wiped out. Now it's increasing in the United States because all the illegals are not being tested like they're supposed to be. Um, yeah. What else uh, is kind of amusing is Kennedy, John, uh, RFK Jr., is going after Big Pharma because of all these new diseases and new drugs and we're so unhealthy. Uh, in a way, the five top executives are the, uh, of uh, Big Pharma, you know, that's pharmaceuticals, the five of them had an, emer <laughs> had an emergency session today to discuss what they're going to do when Trump takes over and RFK Jr. is put in charge of some of this stuff. So they're in a panic mode. Big Pharma, Pharma Big Pharma, you know, there's drugs. For, look, look when you go, go to the store, the, the drug aisle. It's ridiculous. And every time you turn around, there's a new commercial for a new drug and a new disease that I never heard of. So a big farmer is in a panic because one of the first things that I think RFK is going to do, or, 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 or uh, Trump, is they're going to ban drug commercials on TV. And they should. There's only two countries in the entire world that allow drug companies to advertise on TV. Think about that for a minute. Two countries in the entire world. How often do you see drug commercials? Every day when I watch TV, well, I don't watch TV every day, but every day that I do watch TV, drug commercials. And that's all you see. And it's like, if you remember, they took cigarette commercials off of TV, which was a good thing. Uh, they still allow alcohol, but anyway, that's one of the things they're going to do. So Big Pharma right now is in a panic mode because they know their number's up. And Kennedy's going to start looking into all these drugs and the side effects uh, that they t that have. There's a freaking Asian freaking damn ladybug buzzing around. Those are the ones that bite. Uh, but anyway, so Big Farmer had a big conference because they're up Shit's Creek, and I just think that's funny. Just some odd information. Uh, the last time a president was in office, then out of office, and then won re-election. Trump is number two, okay? And in 1880-something, uh, Clover, I believe it was, he did the same thing. He was in office for four years, was ousted, and then ran again, and then got back in. So think about that. The history of our country, oh, that's only been only been done twice and we the American people is why it happened and of course they blame Biden well you know Biden just did didn't do a very good job so people remember that and that's another reason she lost was because of Biden uh, she's been in there with Biden for almost four years. So using him as an escape goat when she was there for the whole thing, you know, it's just they're full of excuses. Why don't they just come out and tell the truth? People were fed up with the economy. People were fed up with all the illegals pouring into the country. They were fed up with wars going on in Europe. Well, that didn't really affect the U.S. that much. Uh, the cost of fuel cost of the economy, the cost of inflation, so many things are out of control and just say, hmm, maybe that's why the people got fed up. Maybe that's why they said, you know what, we can't do this anymore. Our country is in ruins, our economy. So maybe that's why people didn't vote for Harris because they were fed up the way things were going. And they overplayed the whole abortion thing again. You know, and all the, well, you know, the fake commercials that were on TV. So, let's see. 
I'll bet my life that Trump will not have endurance camps. He will not have take away your Medicare, your Social Security. He's not going to touch either one of those. Harris and Biden, they're the ones that were given, putting these illegals and giving them money out of the Medicare and the Social Security fund. <laughs> yeah. Nothing but excuses. Yeah. Here's one for you. Uh, Hezbollah, you know, launch more miss missiles at uh, Israel uh, today. But what's not amusing, but in the Golan Heights, they renamed one of the suburbs after Trump. Okay, I don't know the name of it though, Trump something. So anyway, they renamed in Golan Heights uh, one of the areas, they named it after Trump. Because Trump has done so much for Israel. And it's very rarely hit with missiles. So Hezbollah launched, it's not funny, but Hezbollah launched a bunch of missiles at Israel. And they were aiming at the area that they named after Trump. So the terrorists know their days are limited. And that's why they fired the missiles at that was to say, well, you know, so that is, it's not amusing. It's amusing, but it's not like a good amusing. Uh, the air, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, called Trump today, congratulated him. Uh, uh, God, what was the other one? You know, there's several Arab states that have already congratulated Trump because they like Trump. He kept peace in the Middle East. Um, oh, there was another one I thought of uh, uh, as to why, you know, they use all kinds of excuses as to why they lost the uh, election instead of coming up.